So welcome to our next Pivot Talk interview. Today on the other side of the screen, we have Gaurav uh, Swarup, uh, the CTO of Yale.com. Uh, hi Gaurav, uh, thank you for joining me. Hi Paulina, thank you for having me here. So Yale.com uh, is UK's leading online business directory. Uh, the website contains names, addresses, and telephone numbers of over 2.9 million businesses. Although the business was launched, uh, I mean, the website was launched in 1996, uh, the history of Villay, Yale, and Yellow Pages uh, started way earlier. Uh, please tell us more about your fascinating journey. Sure, Paulina. So, um, of course, the, the business has its origins from Yellow Pages, which was our print business. And, and Yellow Pages itself has been more than 50 years old as a, as a business. And, and for small businesses, the, you know, in, in the past, for small businesses, the, the media for advertising was quite simple. It was the printed book. And the medium of communication between consumers and, and small businesses was also quite simple because it was the telephone. Of course, with the, uh, with the growth of the internet, um, the, the, the landscape became slightly more complicated. So print became less relevant um, for, for both consumers and small businesses. And the consumer behavior also started changing from, from a telephone conversation to sending emails to chat messages and, and messaging platforms. So the, the ecosystem became more diverse and more complex with time. So with this changing landscape, we really had two options, either to hang on to yellow pages and, and continue to decline, or to completely transform our business from a print-based business to a completely 100% digital business. So needless to say, we chose to uh, transform our business uh, completely. And now in the new, in the new form of Yell, which is the new name for Yellow Pages, we now offer a whole host of digital marketing solutions to our customers. And when I say digital marketing solutions, it could be a listing on Yell.com. It could be a website design for our customers. It could be a Google AdWords campaign that we may design for the customer. It could be a Facebook campaign, or it could be just managing their reviews across a wide host of destinations, whether it's a listing or, or a website. So really, in a nutshell, our journey has been a completely print business driven by Yellow Pages to a completely online, 100% digital marketing solutions provider for small businesses. It's really the essence of our journey. Okay, so the market demand and the user behavior forced you to completely switch your business model from offline to online. How did you pre prepare for this pivot? I guess the, uh, the preparation of this transformation came in, in three forms, I would say. I think the first one was the realization that we had to fundamentally change our business model from a product-based model to a service-based model. And that's not something which is new in the in the market. I think if you look at some big software providers like Microsoft, Microsoft used to operate in in software license with their office products and and their operating systems, and they have moved on from from product um, selling to to provision of service. So so they now talk about cloud services, Office three six five. Microsoft Azure as a service. So so Microsoft is a good example of a of a company moving from product-based business model to a service-based business model, which is, what our, which is what is quite relevant in our case as well. And that was the first thing that we had to realize that it's no longer a print product that we have to sell, but now it's all about providing a digital marketing service to, to our customers, which was the first thing in the context of the pivot that you just mentioned. The second thing was a realization that in terms of how we operate as a, as a business, we had to move from a very sales centric organization to a service centric organization or customer centric organization. In the past, our, our mission was to sell as much as print advertising as possible to our customers, sell and walk away was our, was our, was our model in, in essence. However, now, while we provide the, the digital marketing solutions, it's all about service. So how we, how we service our customers, how we create the portfolio for our customers, and how we create that unique experience of being a Yelp customer is what really matters rather than selling the products as we used to sell. So, so sales to service trans transformation was, was, was the second 
most important point. And the third, of course, is uh, is technology itself. So, in a from a technology standpoint, we had we had legacy monolithic structures as um, as the as the as the platforms that would support the old print model. However, now we we look at microservices architecture that operate in the cloud. They have variable scalability, and they also have the capability to integrate with other cloud providers in such that we can create unique experiences for our customers um, using a, a wide variety of commodity products and, and third-party products and our own proprietary products behind the scenes, whilst at the top, you have a, a unique experience that Yelp provides. So really, I think to answer the question about the, the things that we needed, needed to pivot the business, I would say the first one was the was the uh, product to service based um, organization. Second was sales to service uh, centric thinking, and the third, of course, was was technology. So I would say. Okay, so PGS Software is currently helping you to build the, the Yale platform. Uh, please share your perspective on how technology can pivot a business. I think there's uh, there's there's so many use cases in terms of the technology driving uh, the digital transformation of any business. But I would say uh, in 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 the case of Yell, I would probably pick three examples to um, um, to to answer the question. So I think in the first in the first uh, I, I would categorize the first case as automation in the context of if we take example of a um, of a CRM implementation. So we introduced a new CRM system and that helped us to transform the way we contact our customers, a complete uh, set of record that we now have about every customer contact and how we automate the contact through digital channels is something which has completely transformed the way we interact with our customers and of course the customer experience as well. I would say the second point is around scale. So technology has has allowed has enabled I would say the kind of things that we used to think were impossible in the past. So for example, a good use case is understanding consumer behavior on 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 the internet, and taking all of that clickstream data and understand what is the consumer behavior like and what they what they do like and what they dislike, and that goes directly into the evolution of our products and services in the digital space. And in the past, of course, the, the fact that we could only look at a few millions of records made it quite difficult to understand consumer behavior. And with the implementation of big data, now we can just consume billions and billions of records and we can understand exactly what the consumers are doing on our digital estate to be able to understand how we can, how we can service our customers better, how we can design the products in a better way, and how we can create consumer journeys that actually make more sense in terms of in terms of what they expect to see on our on our digital estate so so autom so so automation and scale the two two key things that technology uh, has enabled to to help the business transform in the way we have transformed i would probably add a third one which is uh, experience and i talked about the unique experience that we create uh, sitting on top of commodity commodity products and the newer architectures are certainly more 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 enabling in creating the unique experiences sitting on commodity products. So for example, behind the scenes, you may have a commodity booking engine or a payment engine, and they could be created by us, they could be created by third parties, but at the top, we can now create unique experiences wherein if you are, if, if you are a user of a Yelp platform, you will see that unique experience from, um, from the interface that we have created and not even knowing which platform behind the scenes you've been using. So I would say that technology has helped us in three broad areas which have been crucial for the transformation. Automation in the context of the example I gave around CRM and, and automation and automated customer contact. Um, scale using big data as an example to understand consumer behavior. And uh, thirdly, the unique experience that we can now provide by using some of the some of the modern um, architectures, by by creating that unique um, experience for our users. So, so I would say those three are good examples for uh, for how technology has helped us. And and of course, PGS has been part and parcel of that journey. And all of these transformation programs enabled by technology that we have uh, delivered in the recent years 
uh, of course, PGS has been an invaluable partner in all of this. So, uh, so thank you for that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, do you see any digital trends that can help to accelerate the business growth? I think there is, uh, I think the, the, uh, the, we could we could have we could be spoiled for choice here because then there are so many options in terms of the the digital trends of modern times. But I would probably pick on one and expand on the use case that we uh, that we have within Yale. So so I would if I if I choose artificial intelligence and machine learning as a as a as a good trend and expand on how I see that being used within Yale. Um, some of it's being done today already. Others will come in the in the next in the next year or so so um so for example um, a good example of ai is creating personalized experiences so someone does a search on on yell.com or a search on one of our platforms or, or on our app if the experience is not personalized then of course it's quite it becomes less engaging so if you are a user you need something which which matters to you personally and it's something that's relevant for you and it's it's close to what you're looking for and creating personalized experiences is something which is which is a very important use case when it comes to applying the trends of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Um, I think one very important use case which is emerging for us is something that we call as conversational commerce. So imagine a messaging platform or a chat conversation, and you're using a platform to have a chat conversation with a with, with a small business. We, we, we will see scenarios where we can have our own bots interfacing between the business, between our customer and the user in order to create uh, some, some personalized question and answer conversations and capturing content or prompting for some, uh, for some inputs in order to make that conversation richer, therefore both helping the user and the customer. So, so I think again, the theme is personalization, uh, whether it's a conversation or search results is something which is quite key and a useful application of artificial intelligence. Even internally in the, in the way we operate the business, uh, we're using uh, some of the machine learning aspects to provide recommendations to our agents. So, so if, you're, if you're an agent in one of our call centers talking to our customer, um, our systems can start prompting the agent in terms of what the next best act, next best action could be, in terms of the uh, the action that either the agent should take to to be able to service the customer better, or a, a better action for the customer uh, in such that their product can perform better. So so next best next best action is a is a good uh, is a good application of the AI and machine learning um, trend that we are beginning to see in terms of the application of that trend. I think ultimately um, optimizing product performance is also something which is a key use case emerging from the application of machine learning. So we, uh, we look at uh, a lot of quick stream data and we, we, we can now input that into the machines to be able to advise how a product portfolio for a given customer can perform better. And therefore machine learning is emerging as a very good uh, trend to help us optimize the products better for our customers. So really, I think what I've done in the past few minutes is if I just pick AI and machine learning as a digital trend, but we can see five or six uh, clear use cases of, of that digital trend in terms of how we improve the product performance for our customers, uh, improve the, the efficiency within the business, and also help our own agents service the customers better. Okay, great. That's very inspiring. Uh, Gaurav, uh, thank you for your time. It was a great pleasure to talk to you. Uh, I wish you a great day and great times. <laughs> no, thank you, Paulina, and, and thank you for having me here. And uh, you have a great day too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.